This is the Norcast Weather Channel. Brought to you by Johnson's Appliances and Bedding, a third generation family owned and operated business located in Ocean City and Wildwood, New Jersey. Check us out in store or visit us online at johnsonsappliances.net. All right, a very happy hump day Wednesday, everybody. Before you leave the house, grab a light jacket, a hoodie, something to keep you on the warmer side because right now it's nippy out there. We got 49 showing up in Hamilton, 48 in Marlton. How about 44? That's the coolest spot I could find in Norristown, but much warmer down towards the shore. 58 in Atlantic City, 56 in Cape May, 61 over the bay in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. Winds right now are virtually non-existent. They'll pick up a little bit for the afternoon. Heading out the door to school, 54 for homeroom, 66 after school. You'll probably notice a few clouds working in, but we're not looking at any wet weather today. Our future cast is going to show you pretty nice weather today. Uh, sunshine remains locked in pretty much through late morning, then early afternoon, there could be some clouds coming down from the north and west, maybe coming in off of the ocean as well. So it might not be a picture perfect late afternoon, but I think overall you're going to be happy with where our weather goes in the comfort department. So lots of sunshine up until one or two o'clock. Clouds increase later on. Upper 60s to around 70 for highs for tonight. We'll drop down into the 40s. Light north winds at under five miles an hour. All right, we got to shift gears and talk about something very serious here, folks. As of the 5 o'clock advisory, Hurricane Ian was upgraded to a Category 4. We figured this was going to happen. We just didn't want to see it happen. This is going to be a catastrophic event for Southwest Florida, and our hearts are definitely with the folks involved here. Moving to the north-northeast at 10 miles an hour, pressure's down to 941 millibars, and there is an indication that Ian is continuing to intensify. Right now, winds are sustained at 140 miles an hour, and there's room to grow before it actually makes landfall a little bit later on in the day. Uh, it's absolutely horrific. When I looked at this map earlier this morning, I, I just, my stomach started to turn because we are looking at in the Cape Coral area, Sanibel, I mean, to the south and east of Sanibel towards San Carlos and Colonial Oaks, there could be a storm surge of around 20 feet in the dark purple shaded area here. But 12 to 15, 15 to 18 around Fort Myers, folks, this is not survivable. If you have friends and family in this area that are refusing to leave and they're trying to ride out the storm, please urge them to get out. This is a very serious matter. This isn't just a run-of-the-mill tropical storm. This means business because it is coming from an unusual direction. The push of water is like something we haven't seen in that area in a very, very long time. And don't forget, Florida is completely flat. So that water just comes ashore unabated. On top of the extreme flooding, we are looking at uh, inland flooding due to the rain. Look at this, 24 inches in uh, Bradenton, 10 in Orlando. That's going to continue to build upwards of 15 inches. Then it looks like Ian's going to emerge into the Atlantic Ocean, come up the coast and make a second landfall in either Georgia or South Carolina. And then the rain gets up into our neck of the woods in a much reduced version, mind you. Uh, Saturday afternoon could see some scattered showers. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, still dealing with the remnants of Ian. Uh, but it's all going to come down the track. Look, the farther southeast you go, the more rain you're likely to see. This model's painting over three inches in Cape May, two and a half in Atlantic City, a little over an inch in Philadelphia. But down in Delmarva, could see five, six, seven inches of rain. And of course, that could bump up to the north. It could bump down to the south. We just don't know yet. We'll figure out the exact forecast as we go a little uh, later into the week. So chance of rain comes in on Saturday, a little bit of a change in the forecast. I know we were kind of going back and forth there for a while, but count on at least some wet weather Saturday. Same thing on Sunday, and we really don't rid ourselves of at least the unsettled conditions until Tuesday of next week. So stay tuned for more updates throughout the day.